Stay tuned after this brief message from Airbus Helicopters. Product diversity is the key to success in fluctuating market conditions, which is why Airbus Helicopters is using the 2016 Heli Expo show to demonstrate the broad operational scope of its growing rotorcraft family. As everybody knows, the uh, oil and gas prices have been plummeting in the last uh, 18 months, being divided by four, and uh, this has had a tremendous impact on all the uh, supply chain and, of course, as well, on the helicopter industry. So we see a drop in the number of uh, orders for the uh, oil and gas helicopters, and this is obviously impacting us as well. Um, in this environment, uh, we have brought to the market a new type, which is the H175. And we've had a lot of orders in 2015, 36 orders to be precise. Uh, we believe this helicopter is uh, one of the ways for our customers to optimize their costs and uh, find solutions against the backdrop of this oil and gas crisis. Airbus Helicopters is the leading helicopter manufacturer in the um, commercial and parapublic uh, market. Last year, in 2015, we've had a 45% market share uh, because we have a large panel of helicopters from the light singles to the uh, heavy twins. And therefore, we are diversified uh, to be able to match the needs of different market segments which have different trends. And uh, that's the way we've been resilient in 15 and we believe we'll continue to be resilient in 16 as well. 2015 saw the entry into service of two new models, the H175 and the H145. And these have allowed Airbus to bring new groups of operators into its customer base. According to the manufacturer, the aircraft are already proving their worth in active duty. In 2015, we've seen the H145 being the most successful helicopter in the world in terms of bookings, with more than 100 bookings again for the second year in a row. And the H175 has been very successful as well, exceeding our uh, forecast and expectations with 36 bookings against a backdrop of a very gloomy market. So this shows the success of those two helicopters. The H-175 has done very well in the oil and gas operations so far. Uh, we are celebrating 3,000 flight hours uh, of uh, flight with the H-175 and a huge positive feedback from the, uh, from the passengers. Uh, this is a very comfortable helicopter, fast, silent, low level of vibration, very pleasant to fly. And the H-145 has been very successful at all in the uh, EMS market. So we are very happy with these two products that bring new solutions to the market, and the market seems to like it. Coming up next from the Airbus product development team is the new H-160 model. This will be the first new aircraft built by the company under its new corporate structure, using factories in both France and Germany. H-160 is the new baby of uh, Airbus helicopters. We started flights last year with the first prototype, um, and we started flight with the second prototype early this year, 2016. We are very excited with the product, uh, has received a fantastic uh, feedback from the market. And at HAI this year, we are starting the commercialization of the H160, taking letters of intent for the product. And um, we've been very fast in the flight test phase of the product, thanks to the investments we have made on the way we develop helicopters and we test them, uh, that we are new for the 160. And obviously, we will be uh, starting industrialization of the H160 later this year. At the Heli Expo show in Louisville, Airbus showed off various new configurations for its aircraft, including a police version of the H125 and a VIP configured H135. The company believes that by having something to offer, whatever market segments are expanding will prove vital this year and beyond. 2015 has been a challenging year for the uh, helicopter industry. Uh, we believe uh, we will continue to operate in a similar environment in 2016 and Airbus Helicopters has been resilient 
in 15. And we've been able in a challenging market to continue to pursue our strategic objectives. We will be looking forward to a similar situation in 2016, deliver on commitments.